Hey guys, what's up? I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be showing you a nice beginner chord exercise that uh, that really helps to memorize the chords and and physically play them. So let's get started. And there's there's five steps to this. This is a five step exercise. Step one is you form your fingers in the shape of whatever chord you're trying to practice. So for this example, we're gonna use a C chord. And just imagine that there's a fretboard in the air, maybe in front of your guitar. I don't know wherever in the air and you're just gonna you're just gonna put your fingers in the position of in this case a C chord you know if you're practicing a D chord you wanna you wanna put your fingers in the position of a D chord so in any case imagine there's a guitar neck here and just practice just form your fingers in that shape then for the second step you're gonna actually place them on the desired fretboard location so for example a C chord would be played here and you're just gonna place them on here you're gonna press down and strum it. Alright, so, so far we have form your fingers in the shape, place them on the, on the fretboard, press down, and strum. The third step is you need to release the pressure from, from your fingers so that the chord can't really be heard. So, if I were to play a C, and if I were to release the pressure given by my fingers, all the fretted notes will be canceled out. Now the open ones might still be ringing. It really doesn't matter because this is a chord exercise. We aren't too we are, we aren't too picky about that. So just release the pressure in your fingers. The fourth step is bring your fingers off the strings about an eighth of an inch or a fourth of an inch, or for those outside the U.S., about a centimeter. So that's about this much. If I turn my guitar a little back, not. That's not the right way. Like this. About about this much. It's fine. Alright, and then you keep your fingers in that shape, though. And then step five is you repeat the entire process. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. So that's how, that's how you practice your chords. So that's how you should practice your chords. Every time you learn a new one, like a D, like an open D, or even a bar chord, even a bar chord you know any any new chord you uh, you encounter apply this to it and you'll see results so again this helps with uh, memorizing the chord both both physically and mentally um, physically being you know through through muscle memory so if I were to play a C you know my my the, the muscles in my fingers my brain knows how to set the muscles in my fingers to play a C chord so that's that's physically, and then mentally, uh, you know, if you see another guitarist put their fingers in this position in this part of the neck, you'll know pretty almost instantly that they're playing a C chord. So it helps with a with a mental approach to this kind of thing. So it also helps with getting to the chord quicker during progressions. So if I were to play like that. If you're switching the chord, then you know if you if you have a muscle memory, if you memorized it physically, uh, then it should be it should be like ingrained in in your memory, I guess. So that's that's basically a, a really good beginner chord exercise. Uh, thanks for watching. Please uh, please subscribe for guitar lessons and tips. Thanks for watching.